So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing types of storage classes in C. In the previous video, we have discussed auto storage class. In this, in this video, we will talk about the next storage class that is register storage class. And I will also I will ask one question also that is based on auto storage class and the answer of that question you will get in the end of that video. That question is also very important, right? Now, every single detail, everything about register storage class we are going to discuss in this video with the help of a program. Some very important points also I will tell you about the storage class that you would rarely find anywhere, fine. Now before that I just want to tell you one thing, if you are preparing for GATE 2023 exam or you are planning to prepare for GATE 2023, then an academy is conducting a combat. It's a scholarship test to maximize your GATE and ESC preparation, which would be on 10th of April at 11 a.m. And it is a live test and you can take this test for free. You don't need to pay anything. So in this test, you will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners from all over India and you will, you know, you stand a chance to win up to 100% scholarship. Top rankers will get up to 100% scholarship. Here you will get 20 questions and the time limit would be 60 minutes and the questions has been curated by their top GATE and ESC educators. And with the help of, uh, you know, live leaderboard, you can instantly see you, you know, what the answer right or not. And you can uh, see you are, where you are standing among the other learners from all over India. And you'll also be given personalized rating and scoring. With the help of that, you can constantly measure your progress. And after the combat, you will get detailed in-depth video solutions provided by their experts so that you can identify your weak areas and your strength and you, you know, you can improve according to that and you can get it right next time. So the enrollment link for this combat you will find in the description box of this video and you can use my code JKL10 to enroll for, uh, for this combat for free and if you use my code JKL10 for your GATE and ESC plus subscription you will get 10% discount on this subscription on, the, on all the paid subscriptions. So all the relevant links and details I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see what is a stories class and you can see what is a register stories class. First of all, it is same as auto stories class except there are two differences. First thing how to use this, you are supposed to use this keyword register, then the data type and then the name of the variable. In the auto we use auto the data type and the name of the variable, right? Here you will use this uh, uh, keyword register. Second thing is now default value of this would be garbage value, same as auto. Scope is same that is block or you can say function or method scope. We cannot declare this variable, the no, the uh, register type of variable with the variable which is having a register storage class globally. So global declar declaration is not allowed same in auto that also if I have shown you with the, with the help of a program if you have declared a variable with auto storage class globally outside of main function then it would give error right it would have given you error same with this only local declaration is allowed no global declaration is allowed. So within the block scope is within the block right and lifetime is till the end of that block or till the end of that function or method right now another main difference is location where this variable would be stored location the auto variable would be stored in ram or you can say that stack fragment of uh, the memory ram but here this variable would be stored in re CPU registers, right? And why we store this in CPU register or is it possible to store all the variables in CPU register or you can say which type of variable we should store in CPU register means with, in, with, with which type of variable we should use a register with which type of variable we should, we should use auto. All you know answer of all these questions you will get one by one in this video. Right? I guess this is clear to you, garbage value and a default value, the scope and the uh, lifetime. Now main thing is the location where we are going to store this and why we are storing this here. See, for that thing you need to understand this. See if you have written a program, program is same, I am going to write the same program that we have discussed in previous video or let me just write down a different program with which you, you know, with the help of that program you will get it better this concept 
right now here the program is i want to you know uh, some 10 numbers 0 to 9 right now here these variables i have declared as o2 by default these are o2 right so the question you know uh, i wanted to ask to you guys is what see if i by default the variable is o2 if i don't write anything then that is o2 so if globally i write int a global variable that would also be considered as o2 but in previous video i have told you here global declaration of auto variable is not allowed so these two statements are contradictory right so how you will justify this thing what should be your answer think about this see now these variables are by default auto variables right now the processing of this is what this program would be stored in in our hard disk right here we have the program this program Whenever you are going to execute this program, this would be loaded into memory or you can say that RAM here, here. In RAM, we are going to load this program while execution, right? Now, instruction by inst instruction, the processing would be done where? Not in RAM, where? With the help of processor or CPU in processor or you can say CPU. In CPU, we are having that ALU, arithmetic and logic unit. There, the processing would be done. So, in CPU, we have some resistors, right? Out of these resistors, one resistor is some, you know, data resistor is also there, instruction resistor is also there. So, one resistor is instruction resistor. So, one by one, instruction would be loaded to that resistor, right? Then processing would be done fine all the instruction one by one would be loaded here in the instruction register and then processing would be done right so now these variables are auto so we are going to store these variable in main memory so here we have i and sum two variables right i is equal to 0 sum is equal to 0 and then this 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 uh, is what for loop this would be first of all i is equal to 0 now sum is equal to sum plus i this is what instruction that would be loaded first here in CPU in register instruction register. But sum is equal to sum plus i. Now sum value is in main memory, i value is also in main memory. So obviously we are supposed to fetch that value first of all in register. So that value would be fetched here in the data register first of all. Then processing would be done, sum would be done and then that sum would be updated here sum is what sum plus i that is 0 plus 0 first of all sum is 0. Next instruction is i plus plus that would also be loaded first of all here but i value is stored in ram memory so then i value would be fetched here then i plus plus would be done and that value would be stored here now i become 1. Now next instruction is sum is equal to sum plus i same that instruction would be loaded here in the instruction register but the value the sum and i value is in the ram so the value would be loaded here 1 and 0 then processing would be done 1 plus 0 is 1 so then sum would be updated here right so this is done. now processing we are you no know, processing is to be done in the register but value we are storing in memory so we are switching we are first of all you know fetching this memory uh, fetching the data in the register then we are updating here then again for next instruction we are fetching the data and then we again again we are uh, you know uh, loaded the data in the ram memory updated the data here the sum value here so this process this processing is what you can say switching switching from ram to register so this is going to take time the processing is fast processing is fast but switching this switching is taking some time so because of this switching the running time is increasing the efficiency of the program is decreasing right so the better option is what better to store this i value and some value in register only here only not in memory here i and some so whenever we fetch the instruction sum is equal to sum plus i the i and sum value is already in the register we do some processing and value would be updated in in this variable only right i plus plus 
okay i value is here only do i plus plus again for next iteration sum plus i the next instruction sum plus i okay i and sum value we are we are having these values in register only so we don't need to fetch these values from main memory so this switching time we are removing this switching time by storing these variables into register right so if we store a variable like if we are using register storage class if we are storing that variable into register means you can quickly access those variables for faster access so it will increase the efficiency of the program it will decrease the running time of the program running time of the program would be less so obviously efficiency would be more fine so that's why we use register storage class now you will say for all the variables better to use register storage class because we can easily we can you know uh, access fastly these variables so better we use for all the variables declare all the variables has register storage class using register storage class but it is not possible because these registers the size of these registers are very less in kbs only so if we store all the variables in registers then for memory for the execution for execution of the instruction there would be no memory in register so that would be also a problem for us so now which type of variable we should store in register the variables which we frequently use like counter variables the loop variables the sci variable we are accessing frequently the sum variable we are accessing in every iteration frequently so better to use these variables better to store these variables as register variable in cpu register not all the variables right because register memory is very less we cannot store all the variables in register this thing is very important i hope now you got this point right now which type of variable we should store in cpu register fine now it is not guaranteed that if you specify here register storage class this i and sum would be stored in cpu register no it totally depends on many factors one factor is depends on uh, you can say the register is free or not the data register is free or not available or not it depends on the compiler only we can only force the compiler that store these i and sum these local variables in cpu register but it is not guaranteed that th these variables would be stored in cpu register if the register is not available then or it depends on many factor one factor is availability of the cpu register or it depends on the some you know restriction some uh, uh, implementation also right hardware implementation and on, ma on many factors so now if these are not compiler is not able to allocate uh, you know store these uh, local variables in uh, cpu register then by default these would be stored these these would be considered as o2 so this i and sum would be here in main memory only but we don't know for our satisfaction we have written register but we don't know that these are in memory or in the cpu register we don't know right one more point about register variable is what we cannot use pointer means we cannot uh, uh, you know uh, use pointer with this register variable like what if i'm using int i and here, here i'm using int asterisk ptr and in ptr i want to store address of this i address of this i is register variable right i'm going to store address of this i in this ptr this would not be allowed you cannot use this unity operator with this i because this i is not having any memory location this i is what in a register it is not having any memory location in memory so we cannot use address of operator we cannot you can say dereference this we cannot use pointer with this we cannot get the address of a register variable with the help of pointer this point is also very important right yeah but we can write down this thing like register in asterisk i and in i now we can store address of another variable that is fine right i hope now you got the difference between these two points fine next point about this variable is what so why we use this register if we want to store some local variable into cpu register then use register storage class local variables i am saying not global variables we cannot write this thing outside main this thing register int 
x is equal to 10 this would not be allowed this global declaration is not allowed same in auto this global declaration is not allowed only local scope is allowed within the block inside a block or a function right only local declaration is allowed for both resistor and auto no global declaration is allowed i hope now you can write down a program it is same almost same as auto only difference is we use this keyword and where this would be stored in cpu register rather than the memory that's it otherwise everything is same as auto so the same example you can take and you can just you or you, this example you can take and you can you can try out this thing this will give error or not and you can tell me in comment box it is giving error or not right i hope now you can try the program by yourself fine so now that's it from my side about this resistor storage class if you have any other point if you know any other point about this storage class you can write down that thing in uh, comment section so that other people can also get help from that comment right so on the next video we will see about uh, static storage class so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care